So guess where I'm at right now? Actually, look at where both of us are right now. And there's one at the house too. Yep. I actually got through the rest of this uh, pretty much all naturally. And uh, we're just here to pick up a letter uh, for my wife because she does work with uh, special needs, immune compromised children. And uh, she had to come and get tested yesterday. And what, two hours later? Not even two hours later, they gave her a quick phone call. Hey, yep, y'all are targeted. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I'm trying, trying to do much better at this moment, but there were times where I was practically saying my eulogy to my wife. Uh, this honestly, to me, it just reminded me a lot of what chemotherapy felt like. And that's the best thing I could explain how it, how it went all the way through. I didn't really lose my taste at all. Things tasted different lately, but I haven't lost my taste. Uh, but then again, I do snort water practically every night when I take a shower. I've been doing that for years. I'll get more into that on another day. Just wanted to let you know, we do have some other things that we're about to drop. It may not be related to what I'm talking about right now, but uh, you know, we're kind of quarantined at the moment, so I'm just gonna make do with what I got where I'm at. So, as always, you know the deal. Stick around and enjoy the show. Yes, you can tell where we're at at this moment. We're about to go inside and see what they got all out to uh, enjoy. Go inside here and uh, check out what they got set up for display and view. This little guy right here jumps out from behind the wall. Look at that. Oh, I just got assaulted. Check this out. What a display. Go through all the chains here. That was pretty cool. I'm missing one over here and right there it looks like. I'm sure they probably already bought up. Check out this little guy. I want to say he's getting uh, definitely some sort of an electrocution, I want to say. Whatever it is, it ain't pretty. <laughs> And this is Sam from a little show called uh, Trick or Treat.
And no, he is not that pretty underneath that mask in the movie. But it is a pretty cool show to watch. This right here is honestly one of my favorite movies ever in the world. Yes, I love clowns. And this movie just <laughs> made it even better. If you haven't seen this movie, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I suggest it to anyone. Sit back and enjoy a bag of popcorn with it. Yes, it is entertaining and fun to watch, I promise. Believe it or not, I just watched this movie yesterday, the original. Yeah. Did an awesome little deal with my aquarium too, my pondarium. And these stickers right here when I had it. And that was definitely worth it. I'd say go back and watch that uh, vlog if you haven't seen it. Pretty cool little setup I did. A little spider jump out right here. That would definitely piss stools off right there, I promise. Nice little simple ghostly hang-ups here. Here's another rendition of Sam. Some body parts and skeletons. I've had my share of these props before as well. Believe it or not, this is actually a rendition of the clown mask that uh, I actually created. Uh, it was, uh, I believe, the same mask that they used in uh, uh, Michael Myers' movie, uh, Halloween. And I actually got it from this store years ago, and it was cracked. And I bought it for like $2 that day. Right now, how much are these? Yeah, these are going for 13 at this moment, believe it or not, for just this thin piece of plastic. But it's the shape and the character that you're paying for, you know, plus the season. And since I got it cracked, I already knew what I was going to do with it. And I just cut it up and put it on that piece of, uh, what do you call this? Uh, this type of mesh, basically. Oh my goodness. Look at that scarecrow mask. Pretty much almost copying my clown mask uh, style right there. I promise you, I did not... I did not see anything like this years ago when I created mine. And look what they did. I'm not saying they stole it from me, but you know what? If I can think of it, someone else probably has it as well. So it's just kind of cool to share that. Burlap. Burlap. That's the word that escaped in my mind. And that happens a lot. So get used to it with me talking from here to there. Here's some more clown masks. Yes, out of all of them in here, this is my favorite. Out of everything in this whole store, this mask right here is my favorite. Whether you understand it or not, that's what I go with right there. Coming over to another uh, creepy uh, aspect that they have set up here for displays. Check this out right here. Scarecrow. Let's see. Oh, he works. <laughs> and right over here next to it, they got a LCD display. Besides, there we go. Some 
more skeletons in the factory here, it looks like, huh? I don't know if you can see, that's a jack-o'-lantern, not just a giant glow. Putting them in boxes, because right now I can see right here. Uh, glare is changing up the uh, effect through my vision right here. So, got another spider. On the other side of the factory. Nice. Let's walk over here to this corner. people that would make jump. I think that pretty much uh, sets it for all the mobile displays there in this store. Not too bad this year. You can still film as we head back out though. Let's see what else I've actually missed to uh, share along. You know, they got their different types of costumes here you wish to wear. Cobwebs and props. Not everything is spooky. Some is just fun, whimsical, you know, and more adult style, if you know what I mean. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is pretty much our spirit of Halloween for this year. Not too bad considering the uh, apocalypse happening and everything else, you know. Still got their stuff coming out. You know what, before I go out, I wanna do a little experiment here. And uh, you tell me which one you think is more of a preference uh, for wearing, being who I am. Okay. Here's the. That's how that looks. There we go. Girl. Now, we try this one. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. I can feel it. <laughs> you tell me. So, is this my good side? <laughs> Hopefully that's more of an explanation than I can give right there. So yeah, here's a letter of authorization of uh, her for work to be uh, quarantined for the next week. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, right? And that's where we're at on that. Catch you on the next flip flop.
Ha, 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 ha.